want to show you something. Um, there's a bus here in the shopping mall, and uh, it's about uh, maybe 8.30 a.m., and they're all jumping on this bus to, uh, with hard hats to get to work. Now, Dubai, of course, is one of the fastest growing cities in the world. Um, Abu Dhabi has the oil. Dubai relies on real estate uh, and tourism. And, you know, I just want to sort of point out that you're not going to get a level of dedication um, that, you know, that's sustainable over time unless people have a vested stake in the country they're in. Um, and that has consequences for all of us. I mean, you've got, every, you know, things are still being built every single day by the people that get on that bus early in the morning, um, you know, going someplace, uh, to, whether to fix a bridge, a ship, um, you know, or, you know, even as, something as simple as, you know, the, um, sort of, you know, a, a tire on a car. And so, you know, that's one of the reasons Singapore did so well, because they have a lot of blue collar people from Sri Lanka uh, coming in. And, you know, ultimately what ended up happening was they had a vested stake in this country because the shipbuilding and the ship repair business was so in, what was so integral to the, to the future of the country. And so from that, you have, you know, one of the best ports in the whole world that started out just being free. But what's happened with modern economics is that you don't need people think leaders think that you don't need something sustainable because if the people on that bus over there if they end up not doing the work that you want them to do uh or the people that work in that shopping mall right there you just you know wait for their visa to expire and they only have two-year visas for the most part and that's why it's so short uh so that if they don't do a good job they stay for the two years and then they leave and then someone else comes in. So you can only have this kind of a network um, if you're in a position where you can constantly replace people with you know, other people from other countries. And this is one reason why so-called conservatives are anti-immigration, even legal immigration, because what they say is that you know, this is not a sustainable enterprise. Um, when in fact, the problem is actually the laws and the way that these, uh, and the way immigration is handled. Uh, because I've, I've kept saying for quite some time that Dubai, Abu Dhabi, the, the entire UAE has almost infinite potential today, but not 100 years from now. Um, you know, the, what I like to say is that the people in the UAE were fishermen 100 years ago, but because they haven't invested in technology, they might be fishermen again in, in the next 100 years. Um, and so ultimately... The, the reason this is not sustainable is legal and regulatory. All you have to do is switch it to a system where you have a minimum three-year visa, which forces people and, and employers to pick people more carefully, uh, make it almost, make it very difficult to revoke the visa. Um, and then, you know, if, if the employee does a good job, uh, then you have a, an automatic extension to a seven-year visa that at the end of the 10 years allows for citizenship. And I'm not sure why this hasn't been done already. Um, you know, all you would have to do in the UAE is copy Canada's system and add bonus points for speaking Arabic. In other words, you would still use English as the um, you know, common language just because there are so many expats here. Um, but, you know, in order for this to continue, uh, in order for this sort of, you know, I'm not going to call it a utopia, this experiment to continue, uh, something has to change. And obviously, Dubai has a lot of construction. You can see all the way in the back here. Uh, but, you know, if you go to Sharjah or even Abu Dhabi, the construction is, is more muted because they, they have other sources of income. Sharjah is all about education. And again, that's a whole pool of people that you can, you know, have come in on a student visa, not even a working visa, and then figure out who you want to keep um, at the end of that four years. Uh, so in any case, that's, um, that's my morning. I'm going to get breakfast before it's too late. Uh, and uh, like I said, I just I just hope that a lot of leaders in these countries, I think, you know, have relied on real estate for a development without understanding that, you know, it's it's fine in the short term. Even if you build condos on top of shopping malls, it's OK, but it's still not sustainable in the absence of a of a formal, uh, sustainable immigration policy where people believe the same people that get on that bus and the same people that put on a suit and tie and go down to one of these fancy offices down there, they both have to believe in the country they're living in in order for the output to be sustainable. Even if, we, even if you replace people with machines, workers with machines, 
the principle still applies.